के ये ये वेरी डू डी What up, boys? You know how to down shift? Great. Let's learn how to rev match. How do you rev match? Rev match. All you do is you down shift, right? But instead of instead of down shifting like this with no gas, I didn't give it any gas. I just down shifted, and when I let go of the clutch, it it revved it. The bike revved itself back up to whatever RPMs it was supposed to be at. And because you're in a lower gear, your engine is going to pull more. Like your engine is going to pull against itself. It's going to pull against that rear wheel a little bit more. So because of that, because it's pulling more, it's going to make your RPMs shoot up a little bit. So a good way to smooth that transition out so that your bike won't jerk every time you downshift, what you can do is rev match like this. See that? So, rev matching, how do you do it? You're going to <clears throat> stay where you are on the throttle at the time, pull in the clutch, downshift, and while you're while you have the clutch in, and make sure you pull in the clutch first. Don't rev it first, because that's gonna eliminate the whole purpose. When you rev it, that's gonna make your bike jerk. So pull in the clutch first. That should be the first, that's always the first thing you do. But as soon as you pull in the clutch, you rev it and downshift. And then let the clutch go. That's how you rev match. That's it. Clutch, rev, downshift. That's what you do. That's it. That's how you rev match. No matter, no matter how fast you're going, no matter how slow you're going, no matter how many, no matter how much you have on the gas, what you're going to do is clutch in, rev, and you want to give it a good pop. Like, you know, maybe a good like 20, 25% pop. Downshift. And you're going to do it quickly. You're going to, the same way you shift up is you shift down. When you shift up, it's the opposite. Clutch, let off the gas, up, off the clutch, back on the gas. Right? We all know that. We know how to ride. If you don't, I have a video on that. God bless you. But when you're downshifting, I mean when you're rev matching, boom, rev, downshift, and then back on it. That's how you do it. What you want to do is you want to make the ride, you want to make that slowdown as smooth as possible. And that's where rev matching kind of comes into play because you're going to have to downshift your bike. So if you're downshift, if you're slowing down and you're not shifting down, What's going to happen is you're going to have to do like, you know, three or four shifts in order to get to the gear that you want to be at after you slow down. So, ah, of course, genius, rev match. That's where rev matching comes into play. If you know how to, if you rev match <clears throat> while you're slowing down, f for one, you won't have to pull as hard on your front brake because your engine is going to be slowing that back wheel down. And that that kind of takes away a lot of risk as far as needing to use rear brake or if you pull too much front brake, your back wheel comes up. You know what I mean? So it is a little bit safer. Um, but like I said, it's not something that is that you just necessarily like, oh, I need to learn how to rev match if I want to learn how to ride my motorcycle. No, that's not. You don't have to know how to rev match. But if you do know how to rev match, it is safer and it's more fun too like if you actually if you have a bike that sounds like incredible just your bike just sounds like sex just pure love making then when you rev match that's a way for you to play with your with your exhaust you know what i mean like learn how to do that it's dope when you slowing down at a red light you and your homies and y'all just pull up you know what i mean going crazy like what that's lit that's lit Learn how to do it. It's dope. I'm telling you. I'm going to demonstrate a little bit so you can kind of, you know, um, that Impala kind of clean. But... So, I'm going to demonstrate a little bit for you. 
So I'll, I'll show you how to do it without being on the brake and I'll show you how to do it while continuously staying on the brakes. So it's two different, it's two different techniques. Um, usually I'm probably going to be doing it while I'm on my brake a little bit. Um, even though, um, you can, I mean, there, there's definitely times where I don't use my brake, but why am I rambling? Shut up. I'm about to show you how to do it. Just the friction of the engine. All right. Let's go with the fourth. Let's go with the fifth. Now, if I'm going around this curve and I'm going kind of fast, but if I'm going around this curve, all right, and once I get, actually not, let's say before I'm even going around a curve, before you're going around a curve, it's good to be able to grab brake and trail and uh, rev match at the same time, like I, like what I just did. You saw my how my two fingers. Some people use three or one. I don't know, whatever four. I use two. If you're able to do that, if you're able to rev match while being on the front brake, you're unstoppable. You're unstoppable. Let's see. Let me wait till I have to slow down. Because I don't want to be causing. All right, so we got a red light. All right. About to be slowing down, right? Grab front brake slowly. What's my man doing? See? Because I was already on the front brake, that person swerved over. And because I was already on the front brake and rev matching at the same time, I didn't have to grab a whole bunch of my front brake because my rear tire was helping me out as well. I was already braking a little bit. So I could just continue being smooth on the front brake. I didn't have to necessarily just grab a bunch of brake because that can be dangerous. We all know why. And also your rear wheel can slide if you, if you step, if you, if you stomp on your rear brake while you're braking, while you're trying to slow down in an emergency. Yeah, we all know that your rear wheel can start sliding too. I think so. Let's say before this curve, right? Grab on a slow brake, grab on the brake, be smooth while rev matching and be smooth off the brakes also. So on the brake, rev match, uh, rev match. And I don't need much brake at like, I'm barely, pre uh, when I'm pressing the brake, I'm barely pressing it because my rear wheel is helping me slow down so much that it's like, well, I don't even need to, I don't need to grab the brake hardly. Brake, rev match. See how smooth that was? And I still, I should have went lower. <laughs> I should have went lower than that. Oh, I was in fourth gear? Oh, wow. I thought I was in third. That's why. But yeah. That's it. So if I want to slow down, break, red match, red match, right? Now I'm in like, what, second gear, third gear? And then while you're slowly getting onto the brake, keep that keep the, like keep your brake steady you know what i mean keep it real steady don't grab it what you don't want to do is you do not want to grab brake and then let go of it and rev match and then grab it again because your bike is just going to be jerking back and forth jerking back. like you're not going to, don't do that that's just you're just going to look stupid and somebody's going to probably be able to tell what you're doing like yo he's trying to rev match like no that's not it nah that's not it charles not it so what you want to do, I think I'm in third. I'm going to go to fourth, fifth. I'm going to slow down. Oh, stay on the brake. Stay steady on it. I'm steady on the brake the whole... You stay steady on the brake the whole time. You don't have to be squeezing the brake and more. But you can just hold the brake right at a certain spot. You can just hold it there. You don't have to squeeze the brake and squeeze more. Like, let me show you what I'm talking about. So coming up on this light. I'm gonna have to slow down. I get on the brake. Boom. My brake is not moving. My brake finger is staying right in that same spot, but my engine brake is slowing me down a lot. You know what I mean? So I don't really have to grab, but so much of of the brake because my my uh, engine brake, my engine is slowing me down so much. The engine braking team together with. Just the just the touch of front brake, I'm telling you, it will slow you down so much. 
because it's going to be slowing down your motor the wheel that's pushing you in the back that's the one that's going to be slowing down from engine braking and then because you have just enough front brake on the front of it those two things together man you will slow down so quickly you'll slow down real quick like and you won't and you won't have to grab a whole lot of front brake and take a risk you know god forbid if you don't have any if abs on your bike and you get into a sticky situation you're gonna have to grab that front brake or you're gonna feel like you have to because you really don't but you you may grab it and when you grab that front brake man you can flip over the front of your bike red matching i'm telling you it's dope it's lit man you definitely want to get into it definitely want to get into it what's up fellas all right so let me show you let's try it again let's get some speed right and residential area let's slow down right boom brake red matching but i'm keeping the brake i'm keeping the front brake in a in the in a stationary position I'm giving it like, and it comes with practice. It comes with repetition. You want to put the front brake in an area where you know, like, okay, this feels good. Like, this is a good, this is a good rate for me to slow down at. I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna hit this turn up here, and I'm gonna show y'all how I trail brake and engine and engine brake and rev match into the turn. Watch. Here's my turn coming up. Getting on the brake a little. Just, I'm steady. I'm, I'm keeping the brake in the same spot. And come off smooth. See that? Easy peasy, man. I'm telling you. And you can do it. I did it actually kind of slow. You can do it faster than that. And this bike doesn't get as fast as like a Super Sport 600, 1000, blah, 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 blah. Um, and this bike actually might be sold tomorrow. So this might be the last video that I make with this bike. Unless I make one. Actually, I'm probably going to make a video of me selling it. Yeah. It's going to be kind of bittersweet letting the bike go, but. I'm going to be moving on to the next day. So yeah, that's 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 rev matching, man. Definitely get into it, yo. Get into it. Get into rev matching. It sounds cool. If you have a bike that has like you know a sweet exhaust on it, and that and that thing singing, boy. You know what I mean? Put a little rev match action on there when you slowing down. I'm telling you, man, it's something. It's something to get into and, 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 and like i said it also has practicality to it it's not just it's not just for aesthetics or for sounding good it's for it's for slowing down safely you know and of course like i said you can slow down safely with just using the front brake alone and that's it or you can even slow down safely without even using any front brake but uh, i'm probably i'll probably repeat myself but you get the idea. You get it. Red match. Do it. Do it. Love ya. Bye, niggas.